Today I'm going to be showing you a licensed car brand that is coming this weekend to Driving Empire. This brand is massive so make sure you stick to the end to find out what it is and everything you need to know. Before I get into that please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100k by the end of the year. We are on track so please contribute to that and subscribe. Um, I don't know what's going on. Brother like... What is this? <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, licensed cars. Licensed cars are very cool. Now, this weekend, we're getting another set of licensed cars. We're getting more licensed. Oh, for God's please move out my way. The cranium. We are getting more. Li Uh, I, I can't be honest. Today, I'm going to be talking about licensed cars. So, as I was saying, we've got a new brand coming. Now, it is a pretty, pretty big deal because this brand is known by a lot of people and it's very cool. So, let me show you. So, I haven't played this game in um, about 10 million years. But there have been a lot of uh, licensed car additions. We had Lamborghini. Well, we had the Urus. What else did we have? We had... Uh, I, I can't find one. Hang on a minute. We had things like Gumper Apollo, we had Hennessy, we had Jaguar recently, we had Noble, there's tons of brands which have come, and I'm really sorry I haven't made any content on it. But this weekend, and I'm pretty sure this weekend, there's gonna be a new brand coming. Now, what is that brand? Guess it in the comments. You guys probably know it already, if you've been keeping up with sneak peeks, etc. But the new brand in question is McLaren. Now, McLaren is a big deal when it comes to licensed cars because there's so many. In fact, I've been told about 17 new licensed cars are coming. 17 new licensed cars. That is a crazy number. So, this weekend, we're getting licensed McLarens. Now, McLarens aren't removed from the game. Oh, hang on a minute. What's it called? It's called LeBron. Not a clue what that means. But there's already a lot of good looking McLarens here. Like, for example, these models don't already look too bad, except this weekend they're gonna be getting a lot better. I really like this color I've got on this 765 actually. It looks absolutely splendid. Now, just so I can show you like all the proof, etc., here is a photo of one of the devs. In fact, I think he's the owner. Oh, Hippo. Oh, Hippo basically said, Bingo, McLarens are coming. Now, if you look at the top, the message he was replying to, which is uh, from this YouTuber, shout out to him. It says 17 new McLaren cars. Now, currently in this game, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, and there's about two or three that I don't own. So, overall, currently in the game, there's probably around 22 to 25 mclarens and the fact that there's only gonna be 17 means there are some mclarens which are gonna be removed which is um not ideal but at least the 17 remaining new models will be pretty good now whenever i make these videos on uh licensed cars i tend to say that the brand that they're adding isn't too high key now mclaren is very high key it is a very very upstanding brand oh wait yeah they added underglow Wait, how do I, how do I, hang on a minute, I gotta check this out. Appearance, underglow, three colour, scrolling, one colour, what the hell? I want, uh, I want, I want this. Look at that, absolute beauty. But yeah, we're gonna be getting McLaren cars this weekend. Now, oh, oh my god, so many cars have started up at once. Leclerc. But yeah, as I was saying, McLaren is a very up there brand, which could mean in the future, are we going to be getting brands like Lamborghini, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, all of those kinds of brands, are we going to be getting those? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and let me know what you think of McLaren cars being added. Personally, I'm a big fan of McLaren. This 765 is one of my favorite cars in real life, so the fact that they're adding it is amazing. You know what I just clocked? Uh, what's my roof doing? But yeah, as I was saying earlier, there's a bit of a downside. I'm not saying it's a downside, but a bit of a question mark. There's only 17 licensed McLarens coming, but there's around 22 to 25. Uh, to the viewers, make sure... Uh, yeah, you can do that. But as I was saying, there's a bit of a downside, because there's only 17 licensed McLaren cars. But there's 22 to 25 McLarens already in the game, and they're all of high-quality models. It's not like these aren't close to licensed models. These are very accurate models to the real-life cars. Like, I could probably snapshot the 765. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, mate. I could probably snapshot the 765 and easily find a photo of it on Google Images. So the models currently are very good. So is this a downside? Do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh my god, I'm actually cutting up. Oh my goodness. Ow. This is why I love McLaren. So good handling. Except it is very easy to crash one of these things, I've heard. Uh, uh, slow down. I'm an absolute experts 
cutting up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of McLaren licenses coming and what other brands do you guys want added? One thing I'm really querying is how are these licensed cars going to be actually different from the cars that are already in the game? Because we're getting less of them. But realistically, the only thing they can add is the badges so let me know if you guys think if this is a good thing or a bad thing thank you very much uh please like and subscribe i'm trying to reach 100k by the end of the year i just realized this name this guy's name is oing boing bye <laughs>